Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Gosh, my hair looks like a mess, but we're going to get it done right now. This is going to be a weekend in my life. Um, I think my whole channel is just vlogs now. It's just much easier for me to pick up the camera and show you guys what I'm doing and bring you along with me. Um, than for me to film sit down videos these days, but I'm still totally open to those. Uh, leave your comment request below if you wanna see any of those specifically. Right now I'm on my way to the dry bar. Today's a very exciting day, it's a loaded day. I'm gonna call an Uber. I would drive, but the parking situation in Harvard Square is kinda questionable, and uh, I just would rather not stress about it, and I'm already kinda running late, so typical me. Yeah, I'm getting my hair done because I have a meetup tonight actually at um, Dormify in Boston. They have like a styling studio here in on Newberry Street. I'm having a meetup tonight and my family's coming up um, and they're staying the night here and, um, and then we're going to get some dinner after it. And I'm very excited to see them, especially my brother. I haven't seen him in a long time. And then tomorrow will probably be like a chill productive day. Oop, I don't know why that looked like that. I had some people over last night, so I'm like still in the process of cleaning up and it was my friend's birthday and we did not eat the cupcakes, so now they're just here, which is dangerous. I got these super pretty flowers though from the grocery store. <laughs> Literally like a close like random grocery store and they're just white roses and I think that they're so pretty. Oh, I love it. And um, yeah, I do have to still clean everything up when I get back, organize my room and stuff, but honestly, it's not that bad. Like, I feel like when you're an adult and you like host pregames and stuff, like people are more conscious and they're not like super messy and destructive because it's like, it's your friend's house, I don't know. Yeah, I posted on my cheese plate that I made on my Instagram story. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. It was looking good. This is the fit just for like generally running errands and stuff. Um, I barely have any makeup on, like literally none, like brows and a little bit of concealer. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just wearing Lululemon shirt, Lululemon shorts, and then I have my Gucci bag, just like crossbody, just super easy. And then my Allbirds, because I really like them. They're super comfy. <laughs> dry bar and uh, then I walked around Harvard Square which is such a cute area of Boston um, I love to take weekends to explore so I did just a little bit of walking around oh there's a bug in here how did you get up here baby <laughs> so weird okay um well I, I asked for the Mai Tai but I said straight on top like I don't want waves all the way through I really just want waves on the bottom and I want like a wave not really a curl so she actually did these with the flat iron which I really like and I'm excited for it to fall I can show you guys my outfit too it's super cute it's from Sabo skirt I really like it um like for the meetup later so I have like a solid like two hours now before my family gets here which is nice um just cleaned up my kitchen I think that I'm all set really. I need to like clean my bedroom a little bit because obviously I want the place to be nice and tidy for the rest. I just had a really, really good conversation with my Uber driver about something that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. Just like the feeling of not knowing, the feeling of um, kind of being in, uh, I'm not good with my words, I'm really, okay. But basically this guy was like, oh, I'm graduating college in December and I'm going to, you know, chill for a few months and like take some time off and like figure out what I want to do and like relax and stuff. And honestly, that is something that I wish I had the opportunity to, to do. Obviously this job that I took, it started really soon and it, I, it probably, it definitely wasn't by choice. Like my start date and stuff, I definitely wish I could have started later and like really enjoyed my summer and lived it up and like had some time for more self discovery and stuff um, just without school and without work because I've really only had like a month in between there and I did obviously have the opportunity to agree and stuff which is incredible but unfortunately I didn't have as much time as I would have truly truly wanted I don't know I've just been kind of like thinking about it more and more and I just am in like a really weird place right now and I'm just trying to figure everything out and find myself and truly discover but he literally said it. he was like honestly it's like a mind game with yourself like you just have to talk yourself out of it and be like I can do this I can do whatever I need to do and it's so true because I think everybody has bad days or bad weeks or whatever and then all you have to do is tell yourself that you can get through it and tell yourself that things are gonna get better and like be like one year from now I'm gonna look back at this moment and laugh or whatever, whatever. Like I feel like this tip can apply to anything and it's so true. And it was just like a very refreshing conversation to have with someone. So basically don't rush things. Like I'm sure that you guys are all at great points and stuff, but um, 
Also, everything like works itself out. Like I feel like young people put so much pressure on themselves for everything to be perfect because it's like you care so much about like what your family thinks. And I mean, I do this too. I literally do the same thing. Like uh, I, I will, you know, act like everything's all nice and dandy and great because I want like my friends and family to be like impressed with me or because I want you guys to think that I'm like thriving and stuff. Because obviously we all want to put like our best foot forward to society and like be the best person we can be. But I don't know, this is fine. I'm all good. I just... It was a very refreshing conversation to have. I got nitro cold brew from Tate. Did I say that? It's actually pretty good. I was gonna go to Starbucks, but then I saw Tate and I've never been there and it's really cute. I really wish I, I should have eaten inside there, but um, I didn't bring like my computer or anything. So I was like, nah, I'm probably not gonna do that. Even though I do wanna start like eating out alone and stuff because I feel like that's very adult to do. Um, but it was like popping in there, it was really busy. And Oh, I got like a little croissant sandwich thing. So I'm gonna eat that, chill for a minute, and then go through, clean my room, and maybe get a move on. Guys, so I'm all ready for the meetup now. Um, I feel so much better about myself when I'm just like fully ready. And I actually like took the time to do my makeup and stuff, so I just like feel good. And my hair is starting to fall, I feel like it looks so good. I just, uh, dry bar really killed it today. When I first got it done, I was like, ooh, it's fluffy, but I knew that, um, like it would be a few hours obviously and it would fall and stuff and I can't wait to see it tomorrow because I feel like it's gonna be like so naturally and like pretty and stuff so yay um, and I can show you guys my outfit it's from Sabo skirt which is the cutest stuff the whole outfit it actually is Sabo skirt um, I wish I was sponsored but I'm not <laughs> I pay for it all myself and I actually love their stuff it's just so girly and pretty um, it's very like vacation wear vibes I got a bunch of stuff from them for Greece and then my last storm if I meet up I actually wore a dress by them too I just like they have the best stuff so this is it all right I had to brighten up my camera for you guys but it is just like an off-the-shoulder ruffly floral moment but it actually is like bodycon all the way through which typically isn't my vibe because I like get nervous about how I look and stuff but um, I'm I still like feel like good about myself in it and I really like the top part like just think it's pretty on the top and Then the shoes are also from Sapo skirt so very summery and then I just did like my makeup with more like purple tones for my Huda, Be Huda Beauty palette and then um, the gold hoops are Princess Polly and then I guess I should take off my Apple watch here I can try to show you guys like the makeup yeah so I use this Huda Beauty nude palette honestly one of the best investments I've made in makeup um, it, the colors are just so pigmented and so pretty I literally just dropped it and they're like purpley tones which look really good on like I mean they look good on all eye colors obviously it's super pretty but they look especially good on like browns and greens and I feel like my eyes are more like they're like I don't know I always thought that they were brown but I feel like they're more of like a hazel these days so maybe and uh yeah makeup beat I'm like a little shaky because I drank a lot of caffeine but I want to be really amped when I meet you guys and I'm really excited I was just putting on my Glossier perfume and then I realized that I have to talk to you guys the deodorant that I have been using lately native deodorant um, I have made the switch to using natural deodorant for a while now but I'm new to trying native and honestly can easily say the best natural deodorant there is natural deodorants just like cleaner for your body and stuff i think that we're all kind of progressively moving towards that as like a society like you guys have probably heard your friends and stuff talking about natural deodorant i feel like that's like one of my friends at college would talk about they'd be like oh friends at college and work and stuff like people are always talking about moving towards natural deodorant i really like this one from native because it's formulated without aluminum talc all of the bad stuff so this is what it is it's just like a regular deodorant stick basically it also has like shea butter for moisturizing, tapioca starch to absorb wetness. So Native comes in a variety of scents for men and women, and they have new limited edition scents all the time. But I am obsessed with this one, you guys. It's coconut and vanilla, and it smells so good. Their classic scents are coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber mint, and eucalyptus mint. But I just want, I thought that this would be like a more like girly scent, and I really like it. They have no animal testing too, and there's no risk to try because they offer free returns and exchanges in the US. I'm really excited to be working with Native because I can honestly say they're the first natural deodorant I've tried that I've actually been like, wait, this like really works. Um, I've tried other ones and I just, feel like it's not doing the job if that makes sense but this stuff it works so definitely check it out so for 20 percent off your first purchase visit nativedeodorant.com and use the code brooke michio just my name or click the link in the description and use brooke michio at checkout definitely check it out you guys i love this stuff 
so I will have all of that information here and in the description. Okay, so this is kind of confusing, but my building has like a suite that you can rent out as an apartment. Like it's an apartment basically, but it's a, hotel. a hotel. Hotel, sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Yeah. And my mom's here. Well, my yeah. dad and my brother are here too. Yeah, so don't they're... think I'm staying in a like why yeah, would I be in no, a hotel? Room? She would be with me, of course. Uh, so I've gotten a lot of comments on um, older videos because people are like finding my channels and they're going back and, like watching everything They're like, oh, your mom's so cute. Like new Aww, comments. So God. I thought that would gas you up a little Thanks bit. <laughs> I'm know. missing her. Stop. I'm Here missing I am too. in Boston. I know. They, so I don't even really know why particularly you guys chose this weekend to come besides the meetup. Not the meetup. You can't be alone without. I have to manage the meetup. She goes through the line. She gets everybody like hype. It's so funny. Hopefully Did, you'll be there. Yeah. What do you think of the purple makeup though? I love it. You look great. I it's love the dress. Bold, but the dress matches the pillow you just gave me. <laughs> right? The same yeah, pattern. Yeah. It's a really cute dress. Thank you. Um, Sapo skirt. Oh, and a nice pedicure. Look at you, bold. Mm -hmm. You don't normally go that color. It's like a periwinkle. periwinkle. Yeah. Nice, bub. My tan is starting to fade a little you unevenly, look good. but it looks good. it's not that orange. They, it's never orange at Bright Bar. Um, I think that that's it. Oh, so the, anyways, this apartment's so cute. So it's oh, like, it is very cute. so yeah, it's just like super nice. It's cute. I love it. Yeah, we have a, a welcome thing here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, so you got the wash and dry sheets and really. There's like towels warm. And oh wow, that's, that's so nice. What I heard it was cycling. Oh, that's so nice. Look at. Brooke, I can even do some laundry while I'm here for you. Oh my god, stop. It's not necessary. So yeah, my dad and my brother are um, going to see a movie because they, they support YouTube, obviously. Oh my god, yeah, they love it, but they're not really like... that vibe. I know, convincing my brother to come was an effort in and of itself, so. <laughs> Hello, we're here at the cutest Dormify ever. <laughs> it's honestly, you guys did such a nice job with it. I don't know if it was like you particularly or whatnot, but adorable. So do you want to say your names? Hi, I'm Veronica. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tessa. Hi, I'm Flora. Oh my gosh, cutest ever. Um, you guys have to, you're open until what day? Does September 15th. September 15th, come say that I sent you. <laughs> Visit them, they'll help you style your dorm and like make it the cutest ever. Dorm, dorm apartment, yep. anything. Like you don't have to be going to college. Yeah. Like it's yeah. for everyone, but they set out snacks and I'm freaking excited. Oh my gosh, there's people outside, I feel so loved. How cute, you guys, very on brand. We love it. <laughs> Thank you for doing it for me. You guys are so cute. I'm so excited. My mom's here. We're getting all situated. Are you excited? I ate so much cheese last night. I made like a board for my friends and I, and I was. My stomach was not big. Kind of. Let's just say that. Yeah. Outside here. Hi. They met in the gals in the Facebook group and then they both like met up and came here. Let's hear it. You're so scared. You're like, okay, oh, I know. Stop. 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 Oh my god. And I was like, is anyone coming alone? And I was like, I come. Yeah, yeah. You did. And then we met up. Oh my god. Alright, so wait, say your name for the vlog. Yeah, yeah. I'm Jackie. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Adorable. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. What's your name one more time? Allie. Allie. Allie, Allie. 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 she's cute. Yeah. What? Louis Washington. Yeah. 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 Ye
Easton, yes. Hi, I'm Anastasia from Newton. Nice. And I'm mom. Mom, da dad, come no, on, I'm dad. My dad. dad get, get in the vid, dad. Kate, and I'm from Stafford, Connecticut. I love you. I love you. I love all right, how long have you been uh, following Bro? Um, just December? Yeah, we found her through Danielle. Nice. Yeah. Love it. Facebook group? Yes. Yes. That's it. Great. All right, good. We'll put this in. Yay. Just chilling. <laughs> it's like 7.40 and we like filed through most of the line and it was very fun. I think we got some quality content, right? Everyone was so sweet. Um, I love meetups. They really are so inspiring, especially the people that are like, I've literally watched you for so long, like that stuff, like it's so heartwarming. I'm very excited. This is a big day for me. <laughs> My drinks in the glass. <laughs> We were here <laughs> at dinner at the Capitol Grill and I got the filet. We got steaks all around. <laughs> yeah, baby. And mashed potatoes, cream spinach, fries. And I got a dirty martini and I have round two coming soon. So, loving life. Cheers, Cheers. baby. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's Sunday morning now. Um, we're just getting a move on for the day. It's like 10 o'clock and my family is still here. My brother, it, well, I don't know why my nose looks like that. I put on self-tanner and it, like stuck on my nose more so than the rest of my face. I don't know what's happening. I need to make my bed and do some things. It's like 10.30 and my parents are in the like guest suite in my building and we are going to go to brunch. I think we're gonna go to Tate even though I went to the Tate yesterday but um, I didn't eat there or anything. I don't know. It's gonna be really busy no matter where we go on a Sunday. But I really want to bring them to Kendall Square because I love Kendall Square. And my hair is falling from yesterday and I really like the way it looks. Sal so sleeping on the couch. Really doing well. Um, and then this is my fit for the day, I think. This tank top is from, I think, Indigo Child in Athens. And then the jeans are free people. And then the shoes are from Sabo Skirt. It's just like simple. Today. <laughs> Look how cute it's his tate like latte. The funniest thing is though we they called it, you know, avocado. So I was just like super lazy for like an hour and then I decided to get up and do things. Um, I'm literally wearing sweatshirt sweatpants. I don't know why it's 73 degrees in here. I just have the chills. This is weird. Also, my parents won, <laughs> this is so random, my parents won like a raffle and they won a, f like they, you know, you buy like raffle tickets and then like you win or whatever. And this was the prize, it was the Nutribullet Balance and I don't have a blunder. So I'm pretty excited about it. I, th I had one like at some point at school, don't really know where it went, but I'm excited to have a blunder again. I'm not like the biggest fan of smoothies, but I think it will be cool to have for when I want to do smoothies. And it came with these two like tumbler cup thingies, which will be perfect for me to bring stuff to work. And this little like container of of uh, like salad containers and stuff like reusable ones so we love that sustainability um even though i use reusable containers all the time for like my salads and stuff for work so that's even better and i think right now i'm just going to put some laundry up and all of this away and play like a podcast or something and just kind of get organized even though my house is pretty clean right now my apartment if you want to say that uh, also um i got this package sent to my house um, cause Drunk Elephant, like the PR people have my house address and I'm so excited about it. It's this right here. It's the baby facial, um, like their face mask, but it's like really strong. So I might do this later and then you're supposed to follow it up with the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil, which I already have, but I needed a backup. So I'm very excited about that. And then cute little cosmetic pouch for it. And then they sent me, oh my gosh, this hair clip. It says baby, so you can like clip your hair back, and some socks. I'm just feeling like a cozy vibe right now. I kind of want to get into bed too and just go on my computer, but I'm going to put the laundry in first and organize first. It's not even 2 o'clock though, so I still have a lot of the Sunday left, which is good. Really trying to avoid the Sunday scaries and get as much done as I can. Also, I know that I have Amazon Prime and a lot of people in my building, I always see the Amazon person here. Uh, where is, where's my laptop number one? Okay, well I always see the Amazon guy in this building like doing things and I think that he's dropping off Whole Foods orders because I'm pretty sure if you're an Amazon Prime member, you order, if you order from Whole Foods, it's like free delivery. So I kind of want to look into that right now. 
because I don't really want, this is not good. I decided to make some moves here and click purchase on um, a bunch of items. It's really exciting, you guys. This is my first time ever doing it, so I'll keep you updated on the process. Serving a look. Literally just put on um, the baby facial from Junk Elephant. This is a very intensive mask. Like it's tingling on my skin right now. It doesn't look like it's like that thick on there, but you, you only leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse thoroughly with warm water pad dry for immediate results follow with the oil. So yeah, but I do want to kind of shower. I'm trying to think where a shower would fit into my day. Hmm. Maybe I'll shower right after this, but I'm really not positive. Um, and yeah, just drinking some water, doing some things. It's already four o'clock, what am I doing? I've just had like the laundry going and stuff. At least I've been like kind of efficient with my time today, but I really have to like edit videos and do stuff like that. And I'm just a little tired right now and I just don't really wanna do that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's what you do when you have multiple things going on. I know I look really cute right now, so. I made Trader Joe's mac and cheese, pretty <laughs> excited about it. And I'm about to watch some stuff on my TV, eat this, just relax. I was doing some like planning and other stuff before, watching some YouTube videos and I need to edit a YouTube video. I was planning another one that I have to film tomorrow. Uh, just stuff. Happy Sunday. Watching Maggie's video there. Um, just doing some like little. I'm still waiting for my groceries to be delivered. It said between six and eight and it's 7.45 and they're not here, but hopefully soon. I'll wait until my groceries are here, show you them and then undoff the vlog though, because I really want to get to editing this. And I don't want to step too late because I set my alarm for 5.45 tomorrow morning because I want to like shower and stuff in the morning and get up and really just attack the day. Oh, here we go. Notification. It will arrive soon. Love them. Okay, so these are all of the groceries I got. They just came in the cutest little insulated bags. I'll just show you an overview. I think I spent like 70, but I got sushi, which was like $8. I think I'm going to eat this for dinner tomorrow. Um, I was going to eat it today. What day is today? Yeah, it goes bad tomorrow, so we'll see. Anyways. I got, so I got the sushi, which is just a salmon avocado roll. I actually would have eaten this, for, eaten this for dinner tonight if it came earlier, but I made that mac and cheese, so like I'm good. Salad kit, which I'm gonna take your advice. You guys split it in two, um, and then use just like greens to fill the rest of it, because otherwise, like, I don't know. I prefer like dark leafy greens, but I like like the toppings and stuff that this has. So I really like this easy salads for lunch. I probably should have gotten two, but I've been like, eating out a lot for lunch, so I need to chill with that and start packing again. Um, this is organic baby spinach, uh, good for smoothies. I just got that blender, so I figured that. Uh, dishwasher pods, because I'm running low. And these were all the same prices as if I was just going into Trader, uh, not Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, by the way. Um, I got tzatziki because I have some baby carrots in the fridge still and some crackers and stuff that I figured I could dip this with. Um, mango chunks for my smoothies are just literally just frozen mango. Rice cauliflower because I want to do like a little stir fry situation. I have like soy sauce and coconut aminos and I actually have eggs too so I can do like a cauliflower rice like fried uh, rice situation which is really good. I've done that before. I have some bananas, which I love, and if they start to go bad, I'm just gonna stick them in the freezer. Um, perfect for my smoothies as well. I got a lot of smart sweets. You guys are probably like, holy crap, why'd you get some? They were only like $2.50 a bag, which is like one of the best values I've ever seen of them, and I haven't had them in so long, so I figured I'd stock up. If you've been watching my videos for a minute, you know that I'm obsessed with these. They're like so low cal, even though I don't count calories, but they're just a very like guilt-free option when you're looking for like a dessert, and that's why I really like them, and they're like loaded with fiber, so I really like these. I get the Swedish fish knockoff, like not knockoff, but like they're supposed to taste like Swedish fish. And then I really wanted to get the peach rings, but they were out, so I got the sour, or no, just fruity gummies, yum. Okay, all good. Um, I got apple cider vinegar to start using uh, for seasoning, like vegetables and stuff like that. And I just realized I haven't had any. I used to drink this, like put it in my water with like lemon and stuff, um, which I'm probably not gonna do, but who knows? I don't know, I just realized that I haven't had this in a while, so I kind of wanted to pick some up. Um, I just listened to the Skinny Confidential podcast with Primal, the Primal Kitchen guy, and it just got me inspired to try their stuff. And I've been craving ranch, so I got uh, the Primal Kitchen ranch with avocado oil. And this is really good as a salad dressing or like dipping with things, whatever. And then this is inspired by everyone else on YouTube too. Is the Who chocolate covered hunks. These are cashew and vanilla bean. I figured this was just like a good healthy -er thing to have on hand too. I kind of want to put these in the freezer, but who knows? So that's everything. Good stuff. Okay, my retainer is in. 
I am going to bed, you guys. I'm really, really tired. I just took some Ollie sleep gummies like 15 minutes ago and I'm so ready to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching this weekend of my life. A little all over the place, but I feel really good. Like I love just doing like laundry and like little things on Sunday to make myself feel better. Um, whether that be, you know, grocery shopping or whatever, like I think Sunday it's so important to get your life back on track, especially if you're really busy Monday to Friday like I am. I require my Sundays to be spent like with like self-care and all that stuff and self-care looks different to everybody for me self-care literally is like doing laundry and you know doing a face mask and like getting my life together but it, it like it's different to everybody thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next video super soon bye